Now we have the Next girls, the up. Black Mermaid from Sweden against Barcelona. Barcelona has been put in quite a fight, um, so I'm really, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, again, we have Sweden you against Spain. You don't know Spain. what to tell me. I mean, what would be my best? You bet? always know what to tell me. <laughs> So, um, yeah, we have a... I think, I mean, you know, all favorite Sweden, but Spanish team, I mean, are coming up. I mean, I'm really surprised also by the main games. was great how they hold the first five minutes against Molde yesterday. So anything is possible in this game. So I don't know. What do you think? Well, um, I think... I uh think it's going to be tough for the Black Mermaids. Black Mermaids have been a good team, I mean, in the past, and I don't know... Um, how many of the of the top players they have this um, this season here? But um, Barcelona uh, is improving and getting better and better with the year. So I think on the um, um, you, s you can see the upcoming game: uh, Black Mermaid from Sweden against uh, Barcelona from Spain. Uh, you can see it on the physical side. I think um, the Mermaids are uh, the stronger team on the physical side. But uh, I, the, the Spanish uh, showed quite a lot of uh, dynamics. Um, and uh, if they play together as they did yesterday and play fast, they have quite a chance uh, to score against the yes, Mermaids. I really think that it could at least maybe one zero or... or yeah, I think it's, it's open. I think it's an open game. Uh, I couldn't tell who, who is the... the uh, who's supposed to win in this game, so um, let's see. I'm trying to wake up, I'm not fully there, right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so we have still uh, 28 games ahead of us, and um, if you look at the schedule, we will uh, have the, the games um, until 2 o'clock uh, are already on the schedule, the rest will be decided. How oh, they are in the groups. Oh, some groups are more or less already uh, yeah. clear, but um. and uh, the very interesting games will be uh, Akaren Torres. Um, yes, I'm really looking forward to that because Akaren had really a nice game yesterday. I mean, Akaren is one of the teams to beat. Uh, Langen from Germany as well, and I want to see the Castores having a re, I mean, a more of a, of a um, uh, opponent like they had yesterday because they play against um, Austria, if I'm not wrong. And I, w I mean, it was clear. Let's see, was Colombia? Uh, yes, and that was an 8 0, but the Austrian girls are, they got a new team, so I really want to see. It's a Colombian style, again, the Norwegian style, and I'm really looking forward to that game. So for those who just tuned in, this is uh, Champions Cup 2016 here in Berlin. Um, the biggest uh, tournament in underwater rugby in the world. We have 14 nations um, and the pool area. We have 25 te 24 teams, 14 women team and 10, uh, uh, 14 men team and 10 women team. And uh, they were coming from, uh, we had a discussion about that, three to four continents. Depends if we c count North and South America as two different continents. Um, so this is quite uh, uh, a big tournament. And we had some uh, training exercises with uh, the Orcas, uh, with Colombian players from the U21 from Sandiford, and also with. Uh, uh, Wales uh, with the Australian team from Wales and uh, all the teams are just excited to be here for especially the newcomers like uh, you work from the US and uh, like Australia they're super excited and like I said yesterday we had um, the, the Australian players uh, standing at the pool just being in awe watching um, the pool they just know from the live stream the f the passing year the last years so um this is a very important tournament for every team and uh, even those who don't succeed uh in winning games they gain a lot of experience out um
participating, uh, exchanging ideas. It's a really, it's an uh, uh, networking is going on quite heavily um, here. Um, you see them connecting, exchanging numbers, uh, exchanging Facebook addresses. This is what the Champions Cup is mostly. Um, it's the world of underwater rugby coming together. And here we are in the game, Black Memories from Sweden against uh, Barcelona um, from Spain. And we have a fight in the middle of the pool for the ball. And the advantage now is uh, for Barcelona, they're in ball possession and putting pressure, already putting pressure on the basket of the Mermaids. And uh, yeah, Barcelona really wants to have a, a quick goal right in the first uh, seconds. And here it is. Interesting. So uh, this is, this is uh, what, probably what I expected uh, to be the, the uh, Barcelona team more agile, more faster, and so, uh, uh, they have a better bite, the better edge right now. Well, I guess um, that. Don't guess. Bec no. Because in the past, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> because in the past, Spain has been a bit of a weaker team. When you go into water, underestimated uh, the your opponent. This is what happened, and the Black Maybe just you know got a score against them by Barcelona, and Barcelona uh, really are in the, in the group together, let me see, with, um, with Copenhagen, and... So uh, again, there is uh, Spain attacking the basket of the Mermaids. They uh, 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 succeed in breaking free, but the, the one player with the ball was already on attack from uh, several uh, Spanish players. And here is another uh, almost goal that was quite close, but uh, they threw the ball next to the basket. Um, the, the attacker ripped away the goalie, but threw the ball next to the basket. And they're coming back again against the goal uh, from underneath. I think this is... This game, until now, the first three minutes, two minutes, is uh, controlled by Barcelona. And now we see the first attempt of the Mermaids to reach the half of uh, the Spanish team. But they are stopped in the middle. And uh, the forechecking is quite heavy. They don't succeed in even entering the half of uh, uh, the Spanish team. And uh, Barcelona lost yesterday against Copenhagen for 1-0. And I believe they're willing to win this game, you know. Here we are, stopped, intercepted, and uh, Barcelona goes again for the attack on the Swedish basket. And one-on-one, uh, on one it's, it's quite difficult for, uh, for the Spanish, but they are attacking um, really concentrated, uh, two, three of them. And this gives them a chance against the probably physical, stronger uh, mermaids. We have now a cluster on the surface. Now there is a player from the open side playing around uh, the basket, passing back and forth. Already uh, players in position around the mermaid basket. They have very strong presence on the water. Yeah. And uh, they are creating a lot of stress. Uh, they are forcing the decision right now um, and putting mermaids under pressure. Try it. Switch it on. Uh, Jörg is with us. And <laughs> why? Yeah. yeah. So this is Jörg Ertl with us, uh, coach of the women national team and winner of the champions, uh, world champion uh, uh, cup in Cali last year. So I'm uh, left and right from me. There are winners. Maybe this gives me some uh, of the energy of winning. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you show me the ring. <laughs> I just uh, give him a pound. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Welcome, Jörg Ertl here, um, Thank you. commentating with us. Please tell us if you uh, can hear us uh, and understand us. Yeah. How is the sound working today? If it's better than yesterday, or you still have some uh, issues? 
Uh, We're well. five minutes in the in the first half here. Barcelona from Spain against the Black Mermaids uh, from Sweden, and uh, Barcelona is controlling the game. We see uh, uh, non-stop attacking um, from Spain open close side and around the basket of the Black Mermaids and there was one chance of the Black Mermaids to break through now there's a second chance but they are stopped already in the half uh, and they recovered the ball and encountered yes, already yes and this is, and a this is a goal in an empty basket a <laughs> goal. I think, uh, like we talked yesterday that's one of the breaking points if you have the first uh, counter attack goal on a totally empty basket uh, this is where you see the other team just Struggling losing, losing the, tri the grip uh, on on the game, so definitely uh, this team. Uh, Jörg, you're online. Give a sign to Hi, the people. How are you? Um, okay, back in the game. And Good for uh, Barcelona. I'm really yeah, happy they're for them. They're th really fighting. Doing a good game here, and even though they they look smaller compared um, to the mermaids, they put more energy in the water. And uh, they keep the pressure up. It's always three of them around the basket, well positioned, coming in uh, from the close side, passing around, coming to the player on the open side. And uh, the, the mermaids, the only chance of the mermaids is what we see right here, to tackle away the player. Um, but uh, that costs a lot of energy. And uh, they're, they're almost uh, there only in the last second to, to save the basket now we have a counter attack from the mermaids and they're trying to break through would be the first time for of them entering the half of the spanish but they don't succeed and Karina got the ball and we we'll see here a counter attack again and back at the swedish basket i think the problem here we see there's no four checking no uh, yeah in the defense we have only the defense directly on, on the goal but we don't have uh, from Sweden no forechecking uh, before that. So that makes uh, for Barcelona the game very easy to move the ball directly on the goal. And uh, after long pressure, you cannot uh, control this anymore. And then the, the result are the two goals they got. Yeah, it's a, it's a question of time if. Uh you cannot uh, interrupt the attack patterns of the other team. Now it's the first uh, oh. attempt uh, of the Mermaids and they are at the open side of the uh, Spanish basket and yeah, that, should have been, that should have been Maybe a goal. goal. That, that um, yeah. The, the, the goal Mermaid player was coming. wrapping around uh, the, goal, the Spanish goalie and the ball was already on the rim of the basket. But uh, here we go. That was a close, another, uh, another mm -hmm. score. So it's a 3-0 and it's uh, well earned by the Spanish team. Um, they put more energy, more move in in their game and their foot checking and the presence in the water is, uh, is compared to the Mermaids, is, uh, there's a big difference. They play together as a team, they attack always as three in a constant uh, waves going down. So two minutes left in this first half here. And uh, you, s you see the, the, the attempt of the Merits to attack, but they are stopped and uh, they lose the ball very quick. They, they don't succeed in securing the ball. They don't succeed in uh, um, playing forward, passing to each other. They were intercepted at once and we we're yeah. already again back at the basket. Barcelona has much more underwater time. I mean, at least a third more than the, the Swedish team. And, and, and it's true, there's almost no forechecking of the... Swedish team. of the mermaid team here. That's astonishing that's because almost that's no <laughs> for no checking. Well, no, that's no for that's checking. No for checking. Yeah. None He's right. Just but yeah, why? Well, why do you think why? Don't they have the the energy, the the fitness? The, the, the system does not fit. They are only defending with f uh, four ladies. So that's under the goal, on top of the goal, but there's no one who's following up the yeah. ball in the middle but they have two spare players up there on the surface what I do don't they know do what they do hmm. as their coach i can only <laughs> see what i see and explain what i see <laughs> so that is that is a for sure the defense tactics sucks yeah well but the the, the defense itself uh, probably works but the 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 
defense of the offense, the forechecking of uh, interrupting the game of the attacking uh, team is not working. Uh, Barcelona has no problem in uh, entering the, yes. the basket space. I mean, that's a problem. When you don't have forechecking as a goalie, you get tired very, I mean, after uh, the three way, the third way when you were defending because you're pushing the attacker away, you get confused, you get tired, you get upset, and yeah, then you get a score. Basically, I cannot agree. We have six players in the water, two goalkeepers, two defenders, and two offense. And the two offense in the defense part of the Mermaids are not existing. Are not no, exactly. Yeah, that's, yeah, why I, that's, that's why, why the goalie yeah. But that's why the goalie is overwhelmed, because after the yeah. third or fourth wave, they, they cannot put up. It's just a matter of time, yeah. because then uh, six uh, plays against uh, four. four. Yes. Yeah. And on the other hand, you, you see that uh, they did not, uh, or you could see that uh, the, the bottom time of Barcelona, especially on the middle position, was also not very good. So they were lucky because uh, they the, uh, the Mermaids allowed Barcelona to come too close to the goal, and that's the result. I think it, it's uh, the funny thing is it's not in the beginning. Um, Barcelona dominated and put pressure on the Mermaids and and. Uh, made their game but right now we see the mermaids almost doing nothing and Barcelona can do what they want so it's it's not the domination of Barcelona but the the lack of uh, uh, action from uh, um the mermaids the mermaids no and Barcelona are, are fighting and, and I mean with the experience they have they're doing a great job so uh, interesting here um, Barcelona um, I think they are not the strongest team in this uh, competition, but uh, they do a good job and um, it will give them a push for the rest of their games uh, here in Champions Cup 2016 um, in Berlin. Here we are, three of us now. Poor me. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, well we're, we're, we're still we're Against still civilized. One. But but we have two who has really a clue about the sport and <laughs> one is a beginner. Okay, you started it, Jörg. You started it right now. No, Do you, you check the time? Check the time. It's 9.30. Jörg started it. Here we go. <laughs> so if you're interested in uh, watching the games, just tune off and uh, put off the, uh, the audio because it will now... Uh, <laughs> Close quarter fist fight uh, between me and uh, Jörg. No. no. Yes. I, I know <laughs> how to train a, a team and how to be successful. <laughs> ah, really? Yes. You want to have a closer look to my ring? <laughs> you want to give it a fist again? Cool. <laughs> I, I wonder, you know what's disturbing? Every time I give you a pound, you have this strange ring there and it yes. really hurts if you That's just push. That's the first championship ring in the history of the water rugby. Thanks to a clever player like Lorena. Ah, now he's playing. Uh, huh, I see. I see how this is going. All right. Yeah, you have to be always more people under the water. Always. That is success in this game. That's true. That's no, I'm really that's wisdom. Coming back uh, to the game, I'm surprised Which that the, the mermaids are not doing four checking. Really, I mean. Uh yeah, interesting question. Why we don't see uh, uh, offense defense by the mermaids um, right here? Maybe they saw too. They saw it too. They will have a coach in the water, and let's see if they change their tactics um, here in the second half of this game. Um, Black mermaids. Um, from Sweden against uh, Barcelona from Spain. 4-0 for Barcelona already. Okay, we have a feedback. Uh, uh, Jörg is not uh, that loud compared to us. Um, Jörg, say something. You're allowed Hello. to say something. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I have a louder voice than you, Jörg. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was listening yesterday, old woman games. Really? And I was looking forward to not to write something in the chat. <laughs> but you did? Yes. You did? My son was asking me, Daddy, what are you writing all the time? And what did you say? Huh? What you said <laughs> shocked me sometimes. That's good. That's good. That's it woke you up <laughs> and it opened up a new world to you. 
So here we go. We are uh, at the basket of uh, Barcelona, which is uh, quite a sight. There's a call from the referee, and, and he's pointing at one of the players. They're attacking a little bit more. Sweden. It looked like they were. We we saw this also in the the match before. Sometimes the teams need like the one half. and a half. The, the first half to wake up, and the second half they, they are more on the game, which is uh, not really the, the. You need to be from the minute one on the game. Because there's not second chances for first opportunities, so you need to be there right from the start. And Barcelona is defending, the foot taking from Barcelona, it's happening. First time we see uh, the mermaids attack and even be in the close vicinity of the uh, Spanish basket. And uh, maybe this uh, this is was a wake up. Now we see Barcelona regaining the ball and going uh, forward to the left side, to the uh, basket of the mermaids. And let's see if, if this, was, this was just the beginning of the game where the mermaids um, succeeded in attacking the basket of the Spanish girls or if this is a change, change in the attack patterns they do. They are really passive. I mean, the, the Swedish team defending. They even were at almost in the middle of the pool and the, the defender was already lying there. You can't have a lying defender when you're in the middle of the pool. That's just a waste of uh, manpower. And now we have a cluster in the corner of the close side at the uh, basket of the mermaids. And there are uh, at least four or five girls uh, at the surface fighting uh, for the ball. And Barcelona succeeds in... Uh, no, it is the mermaids and they go for a counter-attack. Uh, one mermaid going forward, swimming into the fins of the uh, Spanish defense. Well, they recover very nice the ball and they have already two other playmates uh, that um, I'm are... I'm a little bit wondering on the uh, physical condition of the mermaids. It seems that they are not well trained uh, for this championship. Uh, when the, the counter attack there was only one lady no one was following and uh, when the Barcelona get the ball they also there were no attack and what I when I see here there's this this situation the middle position on uh, on the second black l uh, lane is not uh, uh, there's no one so there's no chance to play the ball uh, open again and so you see there's no position the Barcelona players can uh, play to in the moment when you see the cluster on the surface uh, again um, there's not uh, so many ladies uh, underwater yeah and that is uh, the again no one Normally, I expect my team at least had uh, two positions mm. free, and that yesterday we could see in a, a, a current there were always two ladies yeah. and one has a ball. Yeah. Now uh, they have two ladies and they go directly too close to the, to the goal, so it's uh, more with pressure than with brain, in my sense. Yeah, and the the, the Spanish team is is uh, mentally sharper in this game. They, they have the will, they show the will uh, to attack and to be in ball control. And now we have again a, a surface game. And uh, we always see at least two players from Spain um, succeeding in the recovering the ball in these surface skirmishes and going down as a team, attacking the basket of the mermaids, putting them under pressure. And uh, here again on the surface, fighting on the surface. And this is... Uh, uh, that time where you train your energy, um, it's not helping the game and especially not helping uh, the mermaids if they play on the surface because uh, they lose energy and if the Barcelona girls uh, succeed in diving down as three um, and we have a situation like this where it's only the goalkeeper on the Black Mermaid goal, uh, they will score again and it's already 4-0. Yeah, like on the back and yeah, here we go. that's it. Exactly what I said happened. Um, no surprise in this game. Well, the surprise, I mean, for me, the surprise is that Barcelona is 5-0, 6-0. Exactly, yeah, the, 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 the game altogether is a surprise, but what we see in this game, now uh, the way the they game. play, uh, uh, there's a timeout now probably for the Mermaids, I think, uh, but... Uh, 
Jörg, did you know the, the, the Spanish girls were strong like that or concentrated like that? I think I, it's... No, uh, I think it, um, it's, it's uh, not that Barcelona is uh, that strong. stronger this, that, uh, than yesterday. Uh, but uh, Black Mermaid uh, is, uh, for me, a very surprisingly mm. uh, weak. weak, especially uh, when you see the, the defense tactics and, and the ball goes always uh, on the top, uh, on the surface. And as uh, we call our sport underwater rugby and not uh, service swim rugby, uh, that makes totally no free. Sense. I've never heard that before from him. <laughs> So we were making history here and uh, rewriting uh, underwater rugby because it's underwater rugby, not surface rugby. Otherwise, it would be called water polo. I, 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 no, I always uh, mentioned uh, the, the ladies who are swimming on the surface, it's the same value as sitting on the bench. Yeah. No value. Yeah. Uh, if you're not underwater, it doesn't make sense. And that you can see in, a, in, a, on a, uh, in the game always, always they, they have now the ball and they have the, the, the trend to go up, not down. Yes, yes. And that if, uh, same now, the counter attack, so they don't go down to the bottom. They try to swim in the middle, in the middle death to the other side. And that's almost easier to get there uh, attacked. As deeper you are, it's more difficult it is because it's a matter of distance, it's a matter of physics. Uh, and again, there's no position that the attacker can play to. So it's only pressure to pressure. But there is a physical limit how uh, deep you can go. Yeah, it's The bottom of the pool. Yeah, <laughs> but at least there you should be. Yes, totally true. Yeah. Um, and makes and the too much in the middle. And the, and the dynamics. I think the dynamics we see from the uh, Spanish players, they... they Okay, this was a risky pass uh, for, for a player who wasn't there on the open side of the basket of the Black Mermaids. And the Black Mermaids uh, um, use the opportunity to break free, but lose the ball at once against a very dynamic... I think it's, it's dynamic the way uh, the Spanish girls are playing. They open up space, they go in really fast, um, and it looks efficient the way they play. Um, and uh, the Mermaids just leave them the space they they give the game to them without interrupting uh, any any kind of uh, attack pattern and there was uh, a fail pass I yeah mean. there was an interceptor pass at the uh, at the basket of the mermaids but at once we have a counter attack from a spanish girl she tries to lift up the uh, the goalie and his only chance her only chance is to tackle away the player and uh, we have now on the, on the close side attack on the close side from the corner side uh, an attack to the basket of black mermaids and at least uh, the the Spanish girls always have at least one one other player down to to whom they can pass the ball and that gives them uh, uh, quite at the edge uh, over the mermaids who still don't have any kind of uh, uh, memorable for checking here in this game what I can understand is when they attack the goal and you see the, 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 the one uh, girl attack and want to attack the goal, it takes a hell of time that uh, other uh, uh, attackers join. So that should be an initiative uh, sign to, uh, to attack. And uh, you see now they lost the ball. Uh, because they're not helping each other. But and it was it was better in the first half. I think they they attacked yes. with three, but now they're they're it's losing a little bit the initiative. Yeah. Uh, Even the the the, the, the uh, defense of the mermaids, it's still uh, in the same pattern than in the first half. But when Karina starts to to attack the goal, then we should become one two to support. But it takes a hell of time. Yeah, that's true. And gives the defense a chance to to. Uh, fulfill the spots they the one attacker opened. Well, they should decide if they want to score or they just want to play it uh, safe and uh, stay in they the corner. Playing safe. Yeah, well no, they're not playing safe, but they, they right now they don't succeed. Like Jörg said, they don't succeed in scoring because there is when they attack, there is only one player at the, at the basket. Um, now they come from the close side. And yeah, it's, it, with these attacks after a certain number of waves attacking it's just a question of time before they score and here we go the 6-0 uh, 
from uh, of Barcelona against the Black Mermaids here in Champions Cup 2016. It's the um, third game of the day. We have uh, 27 games ahead, and that's it. Um, that was the game uh, Sweden zero. against Spain. That's one of the big the women. surprises. And uh, we have an hour break before uh, the beginning of. Uh,